Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're here at Zen Sushi and Grill, all you can eat sushi uh, in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, we've just gone inside uh, and we've made our first order. It's gonna be really interesting because uh, we've ordered a little bit of sushi and they kind of said, are you sure you know what you're doing? So um, it's good they haven't recognized uh, Joel yet. So uh, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna eat. It's, it's about 12.20 right now. And they said it may be a little bit slower to make the order than usual. So I don't know how long we're allowed to be here for. They're apparently only open till three o'clock, so uh, the place is really nice inside. There's not too many people there, and uh, actually the menu items look really delicious uh, from the from the menu. So uh, let's just watch and see uh, if we can get some of this delicious food and uh, see how long we stay for. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I am here today with my good friend, Mr. Joel Hansen. We're at a place called Zen Sushi in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, I think the point of managing the marketing is you we could like do a post for Instagram. Instead. For sure. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And then we'll take you guys and everything. Yeah, no worries. We'll be happy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Whenever you're ready as well, can we get another one of those order forms? Sure. Oh, the food is all in the way for you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Not a ton of potatoes because the rice is very plain. Yeah. Do you use soy sauce? Thank you. I do appreciate it. Mmm, this is pretty good. Cool. Yeah. So I find the rice isn't very sweet here. Um, a nice temperature, I like the temperature, it's not too hot, not too cold. Uh, the flavors are very good as well, so. And as you guys can tell, we're here to try a variety of all their different foods. I might forget after like, like four months down the road. <laughs> I just what did that taste like? I just watch it. Funny enough, this video isn't four months down the road, it's actually closer to four years. Did you like the salmon? Salmon's pretty good. Yeah. I found it very, um, it's more plain, but you're dipping, right? Yeah, you gotta dip it. Yeah. Should I find that really tastes a little fishy? Do you notice the rice isn't very sweet? Yeah. I agree. Are you used to sweet? I'm used to sweet rice. Right? Yeah, yeah. But I eat a little, a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. I agree. Wow. Man, the way with the um, sushi piece like this, what you're supposed to do is you take a little dab, dab of wasabi. Mm -hmm. well, theoretically, you're supposed to dip the fish in the, in the slice up. Personally, oh, I got you, not the rice. Personally, I dip the rice because I like more slice off. Mm -hmm. Right. And as this is an old video, guys, I'm gonna have to apologize in advance for my camera. It doesn't focus very well on food. I have tried throughout the video to show you guys, to kind of get you guys uh, there with us, kind of experience it. However, I do have some difficulties, but luckily with my new gear, guys, and my upcoming videos, that problem will be solved. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Just wants to focus on Joel's beautiful face. And despite the camera not focusing very well on the food, I am a bit stubborn, so I will try to still give it my best shot. Do I have? Yeah, there it's focused. 
See that? Yeah. Well, there you go. Joel's got it down like a professional. Almost like he's done it before. But uh, I don't know. For some reason, it, it might be focusing on something else on the screen that's not there anymore. Uh, but with that being said, I'm still going to give it a go. Any salmon? That for me too, or just you? Kind of do well. Yeah, five, ten, ten. I do. I do have that. I do thirty. Thirty? Okay. Or like do twenty-five. But yeah, yeah. I'll take another soy sauce, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. thanks so much. Thank you. And also, would you like any for your holiday? I love one, thank you so much. So just ordering, we do have our preferences on what type of sushi we like. Joel is more into the rolls and the nigiri. I like those both, but I love my cones. Now, now we're rocking. You wanted one of these spicy cones, right? Yeah. It'll only be my, maybe like second, third, fourth time I've ever had the cone. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Perfect. So what about you guys? What is your favorite style of sushi? Are you more into the nigiri, more into the rolls, or even the cones? Let me know as well as your favorite flavor. If I had to go with a solid one, it would be definitely the salmon cones. Good, good, Joel, keep it up. Yeah. And since I love them so much, why not go with six more here? We're gonna go with four of my go-to salmon cones, as well as an interesting Mexican and a salmon skin cone. I would say the best part about going to new sushi restaurants or I would say any restaurants uh, is trying the new food there. They, you know, I always like to go try something that I have never had before, especially at these where you can, you can take little samplers and whatnot. And uh, that's what I did here with the Mexican cone and really wasn't disappointed at all. Um, it's good. It's nice that they're not so sweet. Add uh, sauces if you need. Usually, I use this as a sweet like sauce. Sweet or salty? Oh, sweet. Yeah. Sweet rice. Yeah. Did you take a. You do a close up of these? I think I did. Yeah, I'm used to the rice like really hitting you. Like for flavor? Or just for. Yeah, it's just like having that much more sugar, right? Well, they, um... I don't know the sushi rice they put like sushi vinegar in it, they call it? Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, it's a bit of like flavor acidity, but it is also, I think, a bit of like sweetness, so... Okay. But yeah, now that you mentioned vinegary-ish, but more yeah. sugar than... What they didn't realize right now, or they didn't realize. What do you guys think that they didn't realize? Let me know down in the comments below, and then beside it, put hashtag didn't realize. Tokyo one. So Joel was mentioning there Tokyo One, which is my favorite restaurant here in Kelowna. It's an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant and more with an iPad ordering system. So if you guys are ever in Kelowna, I strongly suggest you guys check it out. Mm. 
I think we were just trying to predict the faces of the staff as we ordered more food because I think they thought we were crazy just even the first order that we put in. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's a golden roll. Yeah, those, are, those are really cool. Kind of slippery. That's alright. Yeah, no worries, just wherever. Thanks so much. Uh, the Philadelphia, uh, the spicy, and then the Canadian. Amazing. Thanks very much. Joel's got some tuna nigiri there and some other treats. Look in the room. I see, man, yours is very like face focused. Yeah. I don't think I'll be yeah. focused on the room. Yeah, definitely. It's it, likes, it likes the face, yeah. which is not bad. Okay, I guess. Okay. But... okay. Oh, I just confirmed. So, Canadian bacon? Yeah. So this is a this is a golden roll and it is the spicy golden roll. Ooh. Hot. Hot. Yeah. Hot. 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 So yeah, as mentioned, we did have the golden rolls, the Philadelphia spicy roll, which had some chili beef and cream cheese in it, as well as that Canadian bacon. So that was kind of an interesting one. It was a new one that I've never tried before. It definitely tasted like a cheeseburger, probably from the bacon and cheese inside of it. And up next there, we've got the six pieces of salmon roll, we've got six fruit rolls, and of course, we've got our six buffalo chicken. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if I put my whole arm across, it seems to work. Yeah. Here you guys. Thank you so much. That's good. Fruity roll. I think it's dried figs, avocado, sweet strawberry sauce. And strawberry on top. That's the craziest fruit roll I've ever had in my life. I've actually never had a fruit roll myself until today. And I'm glad I tried that because honestly, it was absolutely delicious. And I might just have to order some more of this stuff for dessert. And we have to try some of that avocado nigiri. Okay. And we can't forget our healthy vegetables with some of that yam tempura, followed up with a salmon. Thank you. There's our chop chop. She jumped for joy because we didn't hand her the card yet. <laughs> They're done. They're done. Yeah. 
So to switch it up here, I decided to go with the tamago, which is a surprisingly delicious sweet egg cone. Dude, we had enough just, there's no money to go for the following week, that's it. And we got nothing. Yeah, we're out of Alright guys, let's do it. Prediction time. I want to know how many pieces of sushi you guys think we're going to eat all together. So at the end, we don't give an exact amount. However, Joel does give an approximate and then you can just kind of count the pieces from there. That being said, I did want to give Zen Sushi a huge thank you. Uh, they treated us really well right from the very beginning. Uh, they didn't slow play us, brought us out all the food, asked for our Instagram handles, wanted to share the whole experience with everyone. So uh, a big shout out to them. If you guys are ever in the Edmonton, Alberta area, their, their prices range from like 20 to $30 US. So very reasonable. If you're ever in the area, I'd say come check them out. all right guys hope you're enjoying the video so far some of my favorite videos have obviously been with Joel and uh, it does bring back memories looking at these old videos but uh, that being said we are going to be having more new videos coming out soon Joel and I have a trip planned to Seattle coming up here so uh, a lot more of those videos will be coming out in the following weeks. So there we've got some teriyaki beef, a dozen salmon nigiri, a couple of shrimp nigiri, six avocado nigiri, and of course some of that beef short rib. Not bad, right? Not too sweet. Nice little char on there. And if I had to choose between the beef teriyaki and the beef short ribs, I would definitely go with the sweet teriyaki beef. It was very tender and juicy and it had a nice sweet kick to it. Tokyo Wine has a running list on there. I've had it say. But you don't order, you don't, yeah, you don't get the cost. So. Thank you. Well, there you go. Mentioning Tokyo One again, as you can tell, I love that place. Probably one of the coolest things about the restaurant, besides their great tasting food, is the iPad ordering system. So you can see exactly what you've ordered and what's still coming, and they never miss any of the food. The first one we had 100 pieces. I think we're probably at like 300. Yeah. We have approximately. And really, though, if you think of look at this guy, he's like. They're still here. Remember, he was the other was working in here and he was doing this big smile. When, uh, when he was moving, he was like, ha ha ha. Much more so, let's go. Yeah. Is it still here? We are, yeah. I took my time. That's uh, awesome. Oh, well, there you go. Probably looked like I was just staring out the window making some stuff up, but uh, I, it's kind of interesting how you can start to read people's faces and uh, kind of learn to know what they're thinking when they're uh, making those expressions. But uh, yeah, he was kind of surprised that we were still here. Not surprising though, because you know, it has been quite a long time. Literally a couple times a day. <laughs> I made a good trip of it. Alright. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. <laughs> All right, so for those of you that missed it, Joel did say we were around the 300 piece mark. So for those of you that are counting, let's see where we end up. Joel's gracious enough to uh, let me have a few of these <sighs> fruity rolls here, so. They're good, I like them a lot. Yeah. But I ordered some specifically for him, so. <laughs> I just feel like a piece of hair in it too. I almost want to save them to the end. That's what happened last time. I'm like thinking it's like maybe it's dessert. And then Yeah, that's the feeling when flavor fatigue starts to kick in. Sure thing. Mm. You can take that. Sure. Thank you. Well, I take more. I'm, I'm, I'm oh yeah. I think it's funny though. And while Joel's flavor fatigue kicks in, I'm still really enjoying all the sushi here, uh, especially these uh, ones that we got in front of us here, which are called the fruit rolls. As mentioned before, they do have the dried figs, avocado, and they also have a sweet uh, strawberry sauce on the top of them. And uh, honestly, really, really good. Never had anything like this before. I would definitely go back for more of those. Uh, but I think Joel has another dessert on his mind, so... Let's see what he's got in store for us. Bruh. Oh my goodness. Smell good, it smells hot. Yeah. Smell hot. <laughs> You can smell it. They smell hot. They smell hot. <laughs> As a joy. <laughs> but they do, they smell hot. Well, they, yeah, they smell hot. It's They're like aromatic. Hot duck. Hot duck. It's very nice. It's feeling like it's hot. It's hot. Like a, a donut feel. Yeah, the, most of the flavors on the outside. It's kind of a hard, crunchy outside, and then an airy, airier than the donut inside. It's kind of like a fried dough, then they're in sweet and condensed milk. Mm. Like a little bit of cinnamon and sugar on it. Be really good. That's what's missing, cinnamon sugar. But it's like dough, fried sweet dough. But uh, I gotta go, like do I have 100,000 subscribers and be averaging like 6,000 views in your videos? Oh yeah, look at that. Those things just look absolutely delicious. They were even better than they looked, to tell you the truth. Uh, they didn't disappoint, so I thank Joel for ordering these. I, I probably would have ordered ice cream myself, as that's usually what I have after a large meal like this. But uh, I'm glad he ordered these. And guys, I wanted to know what you think I should do for my 50,000 subscribers. I recently had someone 
that had this idea and uh, so far the ideas fell through. So I do want to get a video out for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your suggestions are. I've had a couple. One was 50 tacos uh, and another one was doing something like 50 hamburgers or 50 cheeseburgers from McDonald's. So uh, either of those would be really crazy. I'd love to do something. I know it's been uh, a little bit, a little too long that I've waited to do this. But like I said before, let me know down below what your thoughts are and hopefully we can get a banger 50,000 subscriber special video out for you guys. Fire, dude. You should have, what's it called? You're supposed to get what your rolls called. Yeah, 24. Okay, so uh, we're just over two hours in, and uh, we've been eating yeah, pretty, pretty consistently for two hours, so we're gonna start on our dessert. Uh, we've got some fruity rolls here to start off with. We've had a few more of these, but uh, we're just gonna have some for dessert, and then we're gonna move on to the golden rolls. Hot buns or golden buns? Golden buns, okay, golden buns. Yeah, so we'll try those, uh, see how we like them. We'll start off with 20, and if we like them, maybe we'll get some more. Well, somehow I must have forgotten about the golden buds that we just had. I swear those were for dessert, but uh, maybe they were like pre-dessert kind of dessert, just wetting our appetites. So we'll go back to our fruit rolls here and then uh, have a feeling we're going to hit those golden buns again. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So these were so good that we decided to have some more. Smell hot. Smell hot. They feel hot. <laughs> Explore your senses with you. <laughs> Helping my five year old with her schooling, man. Your daughter will go to school. It smells hot. <laughs> Where'd you learn that, yeah. Joel? That was the fool that taught you yeah. that. What do you guys think? Help us settle the debate. Can you feel hot, like I think? Or can you smell hot, like Joel thinks? Well, or maybe both. Maybe can you smell and feel hot? Maybe you can taste it. I don't know. Let us know down below. So we went to Zen, this is what happened. Just even like their whole raw footage. <laughs> like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how long are you there for three hours? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we had recently visited Joel's cousins here in Alberta, and I'm not sure they knew the extent of his eating abilities. <laughs> you aren't welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just wrapping it up here. So I wanted to give you guys a big thank you for joining me on the video. That you guys enjoyed our little sushi mukbang. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to be one of the first people to get more content like this, make sure you hit your bell notifications. Hope we left you hungry for more. And if we did, see you on the next one. So we've been here for just over two and a half hours. Um, it's three o'clock, we closed down. So we can't order any more food. So uh, maybe we'll go somewhere else for dessert. We're gonna go to the next door, you can eat place next door. That's right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for joining guys and uh, we'll see you next time.